I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. Welcome back to another color class. In today's color class, we are going to be focusing on spring, summertime colors that are best suited for you. Sarah, I'm so glad to hear you say that because oftentimes when we're looking at, you know, the the 24... Uh, spring of 24 palettes or whatever, we say, oh, there's nothing in here for this season or mm -hmm. that season or whatever. And Sarah's put together a nice compilation of vivid colors in the pink orange family mm -hmm. that uh, that everybody can wear. Um, one of the things we recently did a show on peach fuzz, which mm -hmm. was the Pantone color of the year for this year. And we discovered that very few people can actually wear it. Mm -hmm. it it's, it's difficult to look good in it. And so um, she was kind enough to put together your versions of, you know, what you wear in lieu of um, peach fuzz if you're not the season that it works for. So let's take a look at what season should we do first? Let's just do autumn since it's right here. On since my it's left. your season. Of course. So... It's tough for autumns out there. We just did uh, like a little family photo shoot at a tulip farm. So trying to pick out an outfit for an autumn to go to like this vibrant spring event is really hard because the first thing I put on was like this rust sweater because it was still pretty cold. And I'm like, this, this isn't it. We need something a little bit more punchy, a little bit more orangey. So I happened to find like a little bit brighter. It was actually probably in this range right here about this color I'll put a picture up but around this color and it was perfect you know the the spring colors of the tulips picked it up well it looked good it was Excellent. just yeah it ended up being the perfect color to wear but as an autumn it's really hard to find clothes right now because our colors that we wear are soft and warm and let's face it they're autumn so your time of year is a little bit later in the year right but if you're in autumn out there and you're looking for some little bit more punchy, little bit more springtime colors, then these are going to be some really good options for you. So let's see, we have kind of like a salmon color here. And you can see it has a little bit more punch, but it's also soft. It's muted. We yeah, have... It, 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 again, I think you did a really beautiful job because mm -hmm. the undertone, I, I've always said that your season is... It, you want to be harmonious and you mm -hmm, want to be right. of a piece bathed in the same light. Mm -hmm. And these autumn colors, if you look at um, taking the hue and adding just a drop of the color of Sarah's hair, mm -hmm. yeah. it makes all of these muted enough, but still somewhat vibrant mm -hmm. to be absolutely gorgeous on an well, autumn. If you took some of these spring colors right here and added my little drop of hair color, you'd probably mm. get a lot of these colors. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Now, since I have spring up, let's take a look at spring. So springs are bright and they are warm. Warm like the autumn, bright like, kind of like the winter. So you get these little bit more punchy of a color. Springtime colors you'll find in the springtime. So springs out there, <laughs> bathing suits, t-shirts, you usually have it made because of course clothing companies like to go bold in the spring. So springs usually do a good job. You know, one thing that impressed me about this palette, and Sarah, will you be um, providing uh, color chips in? Um, oh yeah, let's do color chips. Yeah. Perfect. So uh, it, further in the video, I meant to say it, that would be good. It looks like it would be extremely flattering to skin tones. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things about vibrant colors is you have to be so careful. Uh, and Sarah, you may want to drape those over your arm. Mm -hmm. um, Sarah Let is grab autumn. Sa you. Sarah is a cool, um, but it, 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 you can use your imagination to see. Look at what that does. To her skin I'll do tone, it closer to my hair color, because then you'll start reading a little bit warmer. <laughs> but but do you see how it brings out um, her humanity? The fact that she's you know she's got some warmth, a little bit of warmth somewhere mm -hmm. there. Yeah, it's gorgeous, mm -hmm. and all of them I noticed were really flattering to skin tones, and that's what I look for in a bathing suit. Yeah, is a something that 
it, because let's face it, um, we always say, you know, make sure that you're wearing the color up against your face. But a bathing suit is one of those things where it needs to be flattering to your skin, right. your whole body. Mm-hmm. All right. So moving on to summer colors, I guess you probably want to hold these up. You're kind of wearing something similar. Mm-hmm. Maybe similar. the next level of this yeah. progression. I like it. That's cute. All right. Sorry. Off subject. A model. But look how pretty these are. So we have your pinks. Remember, summers, you are soft and cool. So while you're not going to get hit with oranges, you're not going to get hit with, I want to say, yellows. But you can wear a yellow. Please don't yell at me because we know you are not a fan of yellow. I'm not. You can wear a soft, cool yellow. Oranges, mm, we are, summers, we... Death. Right. Death for stay, summer. Stay away from the oranges. It's really going to just suck every bit of life out of you. But your pinks, your mauves, your... Um, Roses. Right. All of these colors are going to look fantastic on you. But you know what? Again, why I love these choices so much, they're the warm side of cool, yeah. if you will. Like um, right before it shifts over. Yeah, so, um, and and I think that that makes it really pretty um, mm-hmm. for the season. And I I would choose a bathing suit. And in fact, I think I have a bathing suit in the lighter of that oh, color. This one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one's really pretty. I love this. I wish I could find more, like, oh, I'm bringing back autumn, because I would love to find some more bathing suits in some, like this one right here. Even this one is gorgeous. I hate doing too close to my skin tone because I look naked. So, you know. Why not? <laughs> um, you know where you, I, I found um, bathing suits are so difficult because you can only buy them like a couple months out of the year. And it's not the summer. It's usually uh, right at the now, beginning. Spring. Yeah, at b- the beginning of spring when mm-hmm. you're not really thinking about getting a new bathing suit. So by the time you're ready to get a b- b- new bathing suit, they've already shifted into the next season. Which, yeah, fall. <laughs> yeah, and so you can't find one. But I did discover that you can find a huge selection of color for bathing suits on Amazon, believe oh, yeah. it or not. And they do have that service where you can purchase whatever mm-hmm. and um, you it goes to your home. You don't pay for it. And then if you keep it for over a week, I think it is, mm-hmm. um, they'll charge your card. Yeah. But if you you take it home, you try it on, you don't get this Wait. constant hit your card, you know. And They probably won't do that with bathing suits, though. Oh, good point. Yeah. Good I'm point. Sure they would do it Maybe not. Suits. However, um, the... Mm-hmm. the the range is right. there mm-hmm. and believe it or not the quality is there oh if yeah. you find the right mm-hmm. suit and that to me was a surprise because mm-hmm. you expect amazon to just not have great quality mm-hmm. clothes well amazon's changing mm-hmm. well you know what i will say this color does not line up with the colors that we have chosen but I do, my favorite bathing suit is from Amazon, but it's army green. So all of you autumns out there, I'll link it below. But it's so cute. It has a skirt with it. It's like a triangle bikini top, but it has like a high-waisted skirt. That's awesome. It just kind of covers you up. It looks amazing. I will link it below. It is my absolute favorite bathing suit. And then I bought it in like three other colors. Not totally in my season, but I did it anyway because I loved it that much. I love this stuff. But I tell you what, um, I think you've had three army green bathing suits for the last... I'm her mother, so I, I have the right to notice I, these things. I love but, some army green. I know. Yeah. It's not what we're talking about. It's not... Yeah. Off topic. Sorry. But Back to the topic. Amazing. All right. Lastly, winter's out there. Winter's, you might have a little bit of a hard time if you're not wearing like the blue, red, itty bitty bikini. So let's go ahead and grab our winter swatches. Here we have... First off, this one right here, this fuchsia color, already seen it in the stores. Amazing for winters. So if you're a winter out there, grab this color. It's going to look amazing on you. Dive into fuchsia. Ooh, (laughs) I love the little, man, we should have done some more play on words. Pool puns. Yeah, pool puns. All right, our next color. We have 
beautiful are shocking pink it looks gorgeous it has great history behind it nod to barbie yes um very empowering color if you know what we're talking about we did a whole history video on shocking pink so shocking pink winters and you will find this bathing suit color out there i i won't say it's as popular as fuchsia but i have seen this all right and lastly let's check out this one now this is kind of like a watermelon but cooler and deeper so watermelon we can all wear a good watermelon but winters you can wear something a little bit deeper let's see this is actually called raspberry so it's in the same fruit family absolutely <laughs> and you know what every one of these could be a lipstick oh my a lipstick gosh. shade <gasps> okay winters your lipstick shades for summer for yeah spring summertime look at these gorgeous summers lipstick shades yes i already have these beautiful you know you're actually kind of wearing this one maybe a little less vibrant but yeah it's, it's a it's a tint of that color right springs beautiful shades if you can actually find them this one this i'm thinking gloss right here mm -hmm. like something with like a white shimmer. russian oh well that's a little too pink from okay. buxom we're talking about the bunks buxom lip glosses they have i think white white russian is a little too pink it's more summery of course you said the summery one but if you find <laughs> something with a little bit more golden hue to it summer springs perfect for you but yeah look at like this one like even these like salmon i said it colors. because i have white russian oh yes i think we all do though true it's, it's you know sheer what? enough okay mm -hmm. off topic I know we're not talking about that, but white Russian gloss by Buxom mm -hmm. is fantastic for making your lips look fuller. I think it has peppermint in it, right? So it's gonna give well, a little it, yeah. I think that's a that may be a little fantasy thing going mm -hmm. on, but um, what I love about it is matte lipstick makes your lips look smaller, dry drier but mm -hmm. definitely smaller mm -hmm. the moment that you put gloss over your color mm -hmm. your lips look fuller of course. and the the white russian adds just a touch of lightness mm -hmm. over so what happens is it actually hel helps the shape of your lips mm -hmm. to to look right uh more 3d mm -hmm. and that's always a good thing so Sounds i'm sorry like... i went off topic but buxom white russian well it sounds like we need like a lippy video like a summer spring yeah. summer lippy yeah, video because, for the different seasons because spring and summer that's lip gloss season man right and like you know lip balms keep your lips healthy i know mine i've been going on runs and mm. oh, the dry air and the cold air just chaps them right up yeah so. i get chapped just from sleeping <laughs> <laughs> brushing your teeth the brushing your teeth is very drying to your lips that's right all right we'll we'll have to do um the different seasons for lippies lippies yeah and then autumn again beautiful lip shades yes, and absolutely. these are perfect you said beautiful oh yes never mind we yeah we're back on lip shades again <laughs> okay. we did bathing suits all right go cool. we're kind we can kind of call some of these blushes too while we're at it lips blush these all work these are really great shades i would love to have this as a lip color for springtime so cute and then even the softer ones yeah you know what i gloss. was i was seeing these as a corset you know like a little corset top because the colors are so flattering oh. to skin tone you know what's one thing we need to do hmm. um because training color analysis teaching color analysis is so important to us i am actually gonna have all of these up on my arm you know what actually can i have your arm really quickly certainly so, oh no no this doesn't slip up oh, oh just that's like okay this. so we're just going to show you cool versus warm and for each of the seasons just so you can get an idea of the four different groupings so i just uh, have summer up here and i'm going to put winter down here so you can kind of like, get an idea of what the differences are i, I feel like i'm camera. about to pour wine me i'm sorry that's okay you know i should put this up here just so everyone can see better so we have our winters down here our summers up here very cool there's a blue blue hue that's running on this side versus what i'm about to show you i'm gonna do let's do autumn first so we have soft and soft so hopefully this works this is hard without a shirt on oh goodness <laughs> it's not sticking. she has a shirt on trust me oh well with it on my arm Silly. So we have Silly. autumn up here, 
we have spring down here. Take a look at the differences. So we have cool, and then on my side we have warm. Up at the top we have softer, and then at the bottom we have brighter. You know, we probably should swatch these and put them over on the Facebook page so any color yes. analyst can download them. Yes. So we do have um, Color Class Inc. on Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll make sure that you can download these and either shop with them or uh, talk to your clients about them. Absolutely. So um, go follow us on Facebook for that. And oh, I should probably do my usual. Oh, yes. Guys. We would love for you to like this video. Yeah, you, know, you have no idea how happy it makes us to see likes. Yes. It yes. sounds silly, but... Well, we are a new YouTube channel, so it would be really, really appreciated if you could subscribe as well. Ring the little bell. We are trying to grow this channel. We are trying to grow color analysis as well so everyone can learn. And we do have a different style of doing this. So we want to make sure whether we're in the four palette, we're in the six palette, we're in the 12 palette, we're in the 16, 16 palette, palette, we're the in tonal. The, the tonal palette, we're in the three palette. We're going to learn them all and we're going to do it all together. And you can't stay with us for all that unless you subscribe yes. and uh, get notifications that something new is coming up. Right. So don't forget, like and subscribe. Lastly, I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. And this has been another color class, and we'll see you in our next video.